Hey, how's it going? Today we are taking a look at the Myops Splash Unit. Uh, this is a water drop kit. I reached out to Myops and asked them if they would be interested in sending me one of these to review. They got back with me and they sent me this kit. So this is uh, was sent to me free of charge for review. I'm going to try to keep it non bias as possible, uh, but I do need to let you know that that's the case. They also sent me this holder kit. Inside of the actual water drop kit was the water drop unit itself, a flash cable, and a quick start guide. Inside of the holder kit, you would find this arm. There's multiple attachments I don't have in this video. Uh, I've already set this up to my tripod. This is not included. This is a tripod foot so that I can clip it into the tripod to uh, conclude this video later. Uh, it comes with this clip to hold the splash unit. So you get this arm, some various uh, attachments with different size threads, and this clip. That's what's inside of the holder kit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up and give you guys a review and show you what this thing can do. The main appeal of this unit to me is that it's totally self-contained. All you need is the splash unit and the connector cable, that's it. The unit connects via Bluetooth to your phone and you're ready to go. On the side of this thing here, you can see there's a test button, the on and off switch, a plug for the camera cable, and a plug for the flash cable. If I had one complaint about the unit, it's that the battery is not necessarily easy to change. Now I haven't had to change it yet, but on the back here, there are four little screws that need to be removed. Uh, in order to get at the battery. So other units are easier to change the battery, but this one has more protection because it's in this nice case. So I have this set up on this tripod. I'm gonna show you guys the software and then uh, we're gonna get to testing some water drops. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the software. So you're gonna see me here open the MyOps mobile software and you click on the splash drops kit. You see how quickly that pops up? As long as your Bluetooth is on, your unit should pop right up. Even out of the box, this thing was super fast. Really impressed with the speed of that. If you do have problems, you can hit the scan up in the upper right-hand corner. So click on your unit and push connect, and it'll bring up this screen. Um, this is a very simple and intuitive design here. So you have the first drop, you can change the drop size. Second drop, if you swipe left, you can change the delay. The same is true for the third and the fourth drop. And then on the trigger, you have the delay, and you can change it from camera mode to flash mode. Now, I've talked at length before about um, the different ways to do water drop photography, the different setups. Um, my setup here is, as I've shown you in the past, I'll link those videos down below as well, but I have the trigger cord run into the cable, or into the camera. So this cable does cost a little extra money. They sent me this one. Uh, for this review, uh, I'd like to thank them for sending me this stuff. I Then, the cable will trigger the camera, so when the shutter triggers, the um, transmitter fires my flashes. So I have two flashes over there. This is the general setup. Um, you can hook this cable here directly from your unit into your flash. On the side of your flash unit, you should have something that looks like this. This end of this cable will plug right into there. I'm not going to use that method uh, since my primary objective here is to review the MyOps splash unit. I'm going with the setting that I'm familiar with and that I know works. Uh, I've had results with this using this splash unit. So I'm going to go ahead and fire some shots through here and see if we can collision. There's one. Uh, it's not the most pretty collision I've ever seen, but it's definitely a collision. So overall, I'm very happy with this unit. Although I must say I have not been able to get the third and fourth drops to work. Um, I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong, if I need to make the drops bigger and raise the, the splash, but um, as far as I know, I can't get it to work. Uh, I just simply can't get a tall enough jet into, in the beginning in order to get the third and fourth drops there quick enough to get it to splash with it. Um, so as I've said, I've went over how to do water drop photography in the past many times. So um, I'll put those videos in the bottom. As far as the Meop Splash goes, I think this is a pretty good unit for the money. Um, my favorite thing about it 
is that it's all one unit. So you just connect your phone via Bluetooth and off you go. You don't need to do anything else. You just hook it into your camera or your flashes, hook up your Bluetooth, and you're ready to start making water drop photography. Um, I think that's pretty awesome. It's the easiest one I've ever used. And I'm also impressed with the software. Uh, the software is super easy to use. Gives you a lot of options right out of the box. Um, I wish I was able to figure out the third and the fourth drop. I'm gonna go ahead and keep tinkering with it. And if I am able to figure that out, I most certainly will do a follow-up video. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. Please check out my other videos and have an awesome day.